Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video from Education Solutions. My name is John and in today's clip I would like to show you exactly how you can use Microsoft Forms in order to create quizzes. Well actually how to use ChatGPT to help you make those forms. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we have now. So I am assuming that you already have a ChatGPT account. You're one of the hundred million people around the world here that's already got one. So let's have a look here at this and what we're going to do first of all um, I think what we should probably do is I'm going to make this screen a little bit bigger so that you can see exactly what I'm typing here and so yeah so inside of chat GPT we're going to send up a prompt right here all right now with uh, with our prompt here we want to make this a uh, we're going to set it up where um, ChatGPT is going to create our quiz here, and I've already created one. I just have to happen to paste this one in. So what I said here is, please make a multiple choice quiz about the basics of paraphrasing and summarizing. So you can tailor this to whatever you need. And this particular class that I'm teaching is geared towards academic English writing. So right now we're learning about paraphrasing and summarizing. So I wanted to make a quiz, um, a 10 question quiz with four possible answers that are randomized and I want it to provide the answers or the correct answer as well. So put this into Aiken or Iken format and for reference this is what Iken or Aiken format looks like. So I have to give credit to, uh, to James from, I want to say it's edX Tech. I'll put a link above up here to, uh, to James's video so that you can take a look at that one. But this is how you can get the correct format here. Now the other thing that I wanted to do was to make sure that is, uh, it's numbered properly as well. Okay, so this is the format that we want and this is the topic here, basics of paraphrasing and summarizing. So let's go ahead now and we're going to send this out to ChatGPT and see what we get here for our answer. It says okay, so uh, paraphrasing refers to summarizing involves very good we've got the correct answers there's number two okay perfect so far which of the following is not a key aspect of paraphrasing all right good I can see it's giving me randomized uh, answers here as well let's continue on hopefully we get all the way to 10 All right, there's number nine. Okay, very good. So we've got our 10 question quiz right now. And I'll come up here and I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. And what I'll have to do now is I will have to bring this over to, uh, bring it up to Microsoft Word. Okay, so I'm going to make a new blank document let me bring this over so that you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to put in my blank document. I've copied it to my clipboard and then I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, good. So I can see now that I have all 10 questions and then I'm going to give this one a name as well. And what was it? Uh, summarize and paraphrase. Okay, good. So we've got, oops, let me get back to my monitor here. There we go. So now you can see it. So we got summarizing and paraphrasing. Okay. And that's going to be the title right there. We'll make it bold. All right. So I've got 10 questions right now. And what I'll need to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag that off of here. And I'm going to save this onto my desktop and I want to save this as a uh, Microsoft Word document okay right here and let me get that saved up alright now that we've got that saved I need to switch over here to Microsoft Forms so uh, actually I need to make this a little bit easier for you to see so so if you have a, um, well, you should have, um, you'll need to have a Microsoft Office account. 
So if you go to uh, forms.office.com and then you sign in here, we've got our Microsoft Forms right here. Okay, now what you'll see is we've got this thing right up here at the top. Let me make it nice and big so you can see it. It says quick import, this one here. So we're going to do a quick import. All right, and we need to upload this from our device. Okay, so I save this one to my um, I saved it to my desktop. Okay, very good. Now it's going to ask you here to import your file as a form or as a quiz. Now I'm setting this up as a quiz because I want my students to take this and I'm going to get a score from them. So I'm going to click on quiz right here. And this should just take a minute for everything to come through. Let me resize it for you so you can see exactly what we have here. Okay. Now, um, so we've got our quiz, and it looks like something didn't go well. All right, so let me try that one more time here. I'm going to upload from this device. I've got my summarizing and paraphrasing. I'm going to open that one up and save it as a quiz. Try that one more time here. So it's converting all of the questions that I had originally done. All right, there we go. So I'm going to say start the preview or start the review rather. All right, so it's converted it from that Word doc into a quiz right now. And now I'm going to review this one here. Make sure that everything looks okay. So as soon as, as, soon as it loads up, there we go, I can see that the summarizing and paraphrasing went through. Okay, and all the correct answers have been checked, that's good. All right, so the next thing that I'll need to do is, uh, this is one thing that I, I really wish it, it would actually do here, but it does not automatically set up the points. And if anybody knows how to set the point values here, that would be awesome. I would love to figure out how to do this one and also make it required. So, uh, we'll, you just have to go through each one of these, and you've got to create a point value. So I'm going to do that very quickly. On to number three here. And also I forgot to make it required as well. All right, so we're going to set up all of these, make them required. Again, if anybody knows how to preset the point values, um, please let me know, because that's something I would definitely like to know, so that I don't have to go through these one by one. But it's not that big of a deal, because uh, my quiz was created, I would say, in less than five minutes. Probably not even five minutes. Okay, and on to number nine. Make it required. And then number 10, right here. All right, perfect. So now I've got my quiz that's all set up. And what you can do if you want to, you can see there's a 20 point quiz. Uh, if you really want to, you can set up a timer. I'm not going to add a timer right now. Um, but if you wanted to make it so that your students can't really have that much time to go and look up the answers if they really wanted to try and cheat. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to collect the responses here. Okay, so with, um, with mine, I'm going to say that anyone can respond. Uh, and you can copy the link right here. I'll shorten it and then copy the link. Perfect. So um, now that I've copied the link, I can put that into my, uh, my LMS. I can email this to my students and they'll have to type in their, their names and their email address so that I can give, it, get a, give them their scores from this test. Or you can set this up here where you can say only people in my organization can respond. So that means people from your school that you've logged into, um, you can see that one here. Okay, good, so I've got this, uh, this link is all copied. Uh, I'm gonna send this off to my students and let them take this quiz. So uh, I really do hope that this was in fact useful and that, um, that you're able to use this in your classroom as well. 
So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments down below. And I would love to hear how you are using Microsoft Forms in your class as well. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. And please do share it with any of your friends or colleagues as well. So I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.